political correspondent for Politic 365. John Avlon is an independent and CNN contributor, and he does a many, many more things too long to list. Welcome to you both. Good morning. Okay. Good to see you, Carol. <laughs> so, President Obama is arming himself with Big Bird and, and actually Nickelodeon, too, because apparently, defying tradition, Mitt Romney refused to answer question from the kids on Nickelodeon's Kids Pick the President, and Mr. Obama did answer questions, and that started a war of words. Obama's Deputy National Press Secretary saying, quote, it's no surprise Mr. Romney chose to play hooky. Kids demand details, end quote. Jason. Isn't this just silly? Uh, you know, it, it isn't silly when you're Mitt Romney because you need to make sure that after you get this post-debate boost that you work it as good as you can. And the idea of him looking cold again, the idea of him looking distant again and not connecting with people is not good. Going after Big Bird, going after Elmo, and ignoring a bunch of little kids on Nickelodeon, that is not the way to continue on the crest of your bump. So it, it's not good for Mitt Romney. Oh, come on. But, John, we saw yeah. Mitt Romney at an elementary school. He was shaking hands with the kids, and he's telling very touching stories on the campaign trail about this 14-year-old for whom he gave the eulogy. Yeah. Yeah, but, but continue that momentum. This is an unforced error. I mean, if, if Nickelodeon has a series and asks you to come talk to American school kids, you can't say, I don't have time for them, and still be on a charm offensive where you're trying to show people how human you are. Look, he's a fantastic father by all accounts. This is an unforced scheduling error. You always make time for American school kids. If you don't, it's going to reflect badly on you. Really? Come on. Really? Yeah. yeah, no, I'm telling you. Because some I, I people might say, oh, the, the, my God, the, the, why take time totally out to answer a bunch of kids' questions? But the kids because matter, and matter kids have and parents. Their parents vote. <laughs> okay, you guys know about, more about politics than I do. <laughs> it's okay. Let's talk about the polls. Uh, there's being a, a war waged over the polls on Twitter. It goes something like this. My poll is better than your poll. Na 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 na. So, <laughs> when taken all together, do national polls really matter, Jason? Uh, they do matter, and they matter even when the Republicans were becoming sort of poll truthers, just like they were job truthers last week. Look, the thing is this. Barack Obama was never going to win the presidential election by eight points. I always thought the original Pew poll was, was a bit too positive for Barack Obama. But legitimately, look, Mitt Romney has done better after doing well in the debate. And then that has receded a bit. And so the national polls matter. But more importantly is the state polls. Uh, when we look at Florida, when we look at Ohio, when we look at Virginia, if any of his success from last week's debate trickles into the states, then this could be a whole new race. But so far, we haven't seen that in any of the swing states. But, John, wouldn't you, wouldn't you venture to yeah. guess that the closer we get to election, time the national polls I'm not talking about the swing state polls because I agree with you Jason the national polls will show a race that's neck and neck sure absolutely and remember I mean election day is today in many states there's early voting this year is different the only poll that counts isn't just election day it's what people do before but but Jason's right to the extent that national polls are a broad barometer what matters is the swing states you want to know what's going on pay attention to them and I love the way Carol that these professional partisans in both sides whenever they see a poll they don't like they immediately start, you know, calling foul and going to the sample size. I mean, they're trying to spin their way out of what the polls are showing, and nobody thinks that President Obama had a good debate last week. It's not a surprise that Mitt Romney's going to be making ground, pretty serious ground, in the past week. But there's still two more presidential polls to go, and you just don't yeah. know what's happening. That's why I'm saying, why even look at the polls right now, Jason? Well, because it matters. The horse race coverage matters for partisans, right? Because the Democrats always like to be chicken little and say, oh, my God, the sky is falling. Obama got hammered in the debate last week. And Republicans like to always overestimate how friendly and how nice people actually think Mitt Romney are. So it matters to the people who are the partisans. It also matters for raising money. Look, Mitt Romney raised a lot of money after the debate last week because he finally demonstrated that, hey, yeah. maybe this is a real race. So the polls do matter internally in the campaigns. Okay, so I've learned from this conversation that Big Bird could be the decider. <laughs> John, John no, and don't diss Big Bird. That's one of the big takeaways. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I understand. I will never diss Big Bird. Jason Johnson, John Avalon, thanks so much. Thank you. A reminder for you, Vice President Joe Biden and Congressman Paul Ryan preparing to debate each other this Thursday.